okay model building is done like just like in linear regression we built a model now even in logistication we have a model if you go back to your linear regression now there will be a lot of references that i am giving you from linear regression to logistic here so in linear regression where your values were y versus x1 and so on xk even in uh, logistic regression even in uh, logistic regression you have this y versus uh, x1 and so on xk but only difference is uh, in linear regression y was a continuous variable whereas in logistication y is a classification type or a binary output 0 and 1 right after building the model in linear regression what were you doing what was that first measure that you always uh, eager to look at when you build the linear regression which was that measure you were always checking r square value isn't it aren't we checking r square value yes we are always checking r square can you tell me why we look at r square value very quickly all right immediately after building the regression model our eyes should be on r square why we do that what is the significance of r square what's the use of r square i'm a layman i don't know this concept like what does this r square tell you what does this r square tell you like at the end of the day like what does it tell you how the model is performing how good is the model model's goodness of fit how well you have fit the model how good is the model are all right answers how well we have built the model how is the model performing whether it's a good model or a bad model what is the accuracy of the model that's how somebody told these are all right answers whether the model is accurate or not whether the model is good or bad is given by r square value if you remember r square we in the derivation if i had to quickly recap that we told the y actual when you are predicting that uh, you have y predicted value and then you have the error when you are making the prediction let's say y actual value is 50 uh, you have predicted something like 45 5 is a uh, error isn't it then what we did was uh, this error will happen at uh, every point it's not just one point every point there will be error we will take sum of squares of errors Similarly, we take the squares of uh, regression predictions that is called as sum of squares of regression. If you take the sum of squares of these values, that will end up like sum of squares of total. So sum of squares of total equal to sum of squares of regression plus sum of squares of errors. Uh, what is the regression formula? Do you remember the R square formula? What is R square formula? Tell me. What is the R square formula? We told that SSR, sum of squares of regression, divided by SST. That's how we have calculated. You know what? R square works in regression because in regression the actual value changes. So this SST, there is some variance in Y. There is some variance in the target variable Y. SSR values can be any value. Error also changes a lot. Whereas here in logistic regression. The target variable, does it take a lot of values? Is there a real variance in Y? In logistic regression, what are the target values taken by the Y variable? What are the values that are considered by the Y variable? It is either zero or one, isn't it? At every point in logistic regression line, the target, you have X1, X2 and so on, XK variables, I understand. But in the target variable Y actual, what do you have? What do you have in the y actual target variable? You have either zeros or you have ones. Zeros and ones, that's it. You do not have anything else. Here, a variance based measure, something like R square, doesn't work because there is hardly any variance in this. You find the error values, error sum of square, sum of squares of regression, sum of squares of total. All these things, they are all variance based. They work well for the target variable continuous. R square works for linear regression. R square should not be applied on the logistic regression. R square doesn't work for logistic There has to be a different measure here. Okay, it doesn't work the formula of R square. Nothing is suitable for this target where zeros and ones are the output. But how do you do that? Look at this. You have the model with you, right? 
do you know how to supply the values of x and get the predicted values of y already have you done an exercise where you have supplied the age value and got the y predicted value either 0 or 1 have you supplied age as 4 got the y predicted as 0 have you supplied age as 105 have you got the predicted value as 1 so giving the given the logistication model can we supply the values of x can we get the y predicted values for this data itself take the first data point supply the values of x get the y predicted values let us suppose these are the y predicted values these are the y predicted values from the model these are the y actual values actual values this is one here look at this carefully this is one this is also one these are the y actual values actual values are zeros and ones predicted values are also zeros and ones these are the predicted values this is one this is zero this is one this is one zero these are the predicted values now from this we need to tell the model accuracy we need to create a matrix here so in the matrix actual classes actual classes which are zeros and ones will be the rows and in the columns zeros and ones predicted classes or the predicted values zeros and ones this matrix you have to fill based on the data you have to fill this matrix let me not complicate it yeah how many times your zero is predicted as zero imagine this itself is your data imagine this simple example is your data how many times zero has been predicted as zero can you count and tell me in this data that you have right now how many times zero has been predicted as zero zero has been accurately predicted as zero tell me one twice thrice four times four is the correct answer there are four occasions zero has been predicted as zero which is the right classification by the model isn't it model is doing a good job when the actual value is zero model is predicting it as zero very good how many times model has predicted one is the actual value one has been rightly predicted as one how many occasions that happened one has been predicted rightly as one how many such occasions that has happened let me check that one has been rightly predicted as one so there is this hidden one this is right prediction one has been predicted as one there are only two no yes there is another one third one also here right yeah there are three occasions where one has been predicted as one very good these are right classifications right predictions by the model how many times zero has been wrongly predicted as one how many times zero has been wrongly predicted as one how many such occasions it has happened you are telling me there is only one such occasion it has ever happened zero no no not this one zero has been wrongly predicted as one that is a wrong prediction there's only one such occasion how many times one has been predicted as zero how many times one has been predicted as zero there is this one occasion one has been predicted as zero that is wrong there is this occasion where one has been predicted as zero well that is also wrong so twice it happened that one has been predicted wrongly as zero overall how many data points are there in your data overall how many data points are there overall data points full data 10 records are there out of them your model has accurately predicted in how many instances in how many cases your model has accurately predicted how many cases out of 10 cases how many cases it has accurately predicted predicting zero as zero is an accurate prediction one as one is also an accurate prediction there are seven occasions where model has accurately predicted out of 10 model accuracy is model accuracy is 70 percent model error rate is 30 percent simple so what do we do we take the actual values we compare them with the predicted values 
how many times zero has been predicted as zero these are all right predictions predicting one as one is also right prediction one as one is also right prediction predicting zero one is wrong prediction zero one is wrong prediction one zero is wrong prediction predicting one as one zero as zero zero as zero these are all right predictions out of overall number of records how many times you have accurately predicted that matters isn't it predicting zero as zero predicting one as one in our case if we go back to our actual example in our case predicting zero as zero one as one thrice it has happened 70 percent is accuracy this whole matrix that you see here this matrix predicting zeros as zeros ones as ones this is wrong prediction wrong prediction this is known as confusion matrix what is it confusion matrix this is known as confusion matrix. So what do we need to do in logistic regression or any classification? And the output is a classification. In any classification, you need to create confusion matrix. From there, you need to derive accuracy. How do you derive accuracy? Very simple. This plus this divided by overall records. That is how you derive the accuracy. Confusion matrix. You have to create confusion matrix and then if you add like this is right prediction this is right prediction this is wrong prediction wrong prediction add up the diagonal elements then you will get the accuracy add the diagonal elements divided by overall number of records so here to check the goodness of it how good is your model that is given by confusion matrix and then the accuracy usually zero is considered as positive one is considered as negative usually in some cases Zero is predicting positive as positive, one is negative as negative. Predicting positive as positive, true positives. When it is positive, truly predicted as positive. Predicting positive as negative, you are predicted as negative. These are false negatives. Falsely, you are predicting them as negatives. Falsely, you are predicting them as positive. These are false negatives, false positives, wrong predictions. When it is negative, truly predicting it as negative, true negative. So true positive plus true negative divided by false negative plus false positive plus true positive plus true negative, all the cases. That is your accuracy. Let's not complicate this this much, whichever is the easiest way to understand for you. If you think zero as zero, one as one, that terminology is better. You go with that. There's nothing wrong with it. For your model, you have just built one model, logistic regression model for fiber bits model. Can you, can you go ahead, create the confusion matrix, create the confusion matrix, and then tell me the accuracy of that model. All of you go there, go to your output, tell me, create the confusion matrix. So here I'm getting the predicted values. This is the model name. Supply the data as it is. You get the predicted values. Now this is the actual Y actual. This is Y predicted. Here is the confusion matrix. And then after this confusion matrix, tell me the accuracy that you have got. What is the accuracy of the model? Roughly around 85% or so. 85.6% is the accuracy of my model. So this is the overall number of records. If we just say sum of confusion matrix, these are column wise sum, add that both of them total. So CM00, you understand CM00, isn't it? What is CM00? Zero predicting zero as zero, like 34,000 plus 51,000 divided by overall number of records you will get around 85.6%. It is the overall accuracy of the model. Usually anything above 80% is considered as a good model. Again, what we discussed is that is a general accepted industry standard. Even uh, if you're working for a different industry, depending on that, we will get the requirement, but mostly 80% is considered to be a good model. So in any classification model, right after building the model, what is that measure that you are going to look at all of you? Once again, tell me what is the first thing that we are going to check? We are going to check how good is my model 
by creating confusion matrix and looking at the accuracy you have to remember this because any con uh, categorical or any classification that we are going to do later on we are going to use the same technique confusion matrix and accuracy and we are going to discuss several other classification algorithms as well there are so many variations of the classification algorithms logistic regression is one of them so confusion matrix will come back to you again and again multiple times